Greetings, Kishlings. Kishin Prime here with my live reaction of One Piece, Chapter 867. Uh, happy birthday. Whose birthday? <laughs> yeah. Okay, more with the Cavendish uh, cover story. Oh, and there's going to be a 20th uh, anniversary quiz starting. Yeah, won't be able to enter that, I'm sure. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. What's up with all the what looks like powdered wigs? I mean, even the woman has it. Is that Kevin Dish's court? Yeah, Kevin Dish run out of his own country for oh for crimes of being too popular. What? <laughs> oh, so now we know why he became a pirate. Technically. Ah. Uh, and just 74 underlings and just 500 million berry in tow. And it feels like he's really in the pits. Well. <clears throat> oh, it's going to be another fan art day, huh? Whoop. Ah, there we go. Okay. Also, uh, I was going to do a theory about... I can't even remember. I want to say it was Roger's base that I got the idea from. It was like seeing uh, some of the other orphanages, or orphans, orphanages, <laughs> orphans at Lamb's house. <clears throat> and like as they might be some of Big Mom's earliest husbands. And one of them did kind of strike me as familiar, like, why have I seen this person before? They looked like a panda mink of some sort. And then I flip back, and at, in the beginning, I think it's on, like, 861 or 860. It, it's near the beginning of the, the wedding. You see a girl who's, like, in a panda outfit. And I was like, are they related? But no, that, that can't really be. That, really, I mean... Because both, both Big Mom and that panda kid <laughs> would have essentially been way too old for that particular offspring. But Big Mom's kind of weird in that way, but I, uh, I don't know. Seems like she would want a younger husband, especially given how young that one character was. But anyway, just a thought. I was like, eh, there's not enough evidence, and I looked at some of the others, and none of them really matched up. There was the whole thing with, uh, what's his name? Uh, Defeld, or Dufeld, and how that fat kid in the beginning, or in the front of that picture, but no, they don't seem to match up that well. Anyway, let's get to the actual chapter, what you came here for. <clears throat> mm. Okay. A uh, big mom just snapped a uh, waterfall beard, his sword, an arm stronger than a giant's blade. Okay. I also kind of had a theory that uh, uh, Carmel's going, and it is Carmel. I've been saying it wrong this whole time, haven't I? Uh, but uh, she's going to sacrifice herself, but because big mom's in her rage right now, She's not going to remember any of it. And then that's why it's like, why did you leave me? Because no one's going to tell her the truth. Stop this at once, Lin Lin. Uh-oh, she grabbed... Ooh, she tossed him like an omelet. Ah, flipped him like an omelet. I don't even know my metaphors. sam la Mmm. Cracked the skull like an egg, though, it looked like. Oh, now you don't want to load. <laughs> Let's see if I can get that page to load a little better. There we go. Ah. Uh, Lord Waterfall, or Fallbeard. Why is it still Fallbeard? Isn't this supposed to be Waterfall Beard? Lord Yorel. Or Yorly. I prefer Yorel. Ah. Uh, Samla Lin Lin, can you prepare some Simla? We've got some uh we were saving for the 
midwinter festival in the village's storehouse, but, okay, uh, uh Carm, wait, what the, wait, okay, I'm seeing two panels that just caught my eye, and Carmel does have a devil fruit, I don't know what it is, but she asked a giant if they had any Simla, which I, I was figuring that there would be none left or, and stuff. Hold Lin Lin down. Ugh. Put out the fires around the village. Okay, so not all the villagers have been killed, presumably. <laughs> eh, it was just some of the warriors that went to confront her. Mother, what are you doing? Get back. This is too dangerous. Jeho or Jeruva or Ra? Ah, me trying to say weird words. Mother, mother. It's like something's just bubbling out of her hand. And now, to sulk. And it's just like. What? She does have the soul soul fruit. <laughs> ah, mother. What the hell is that? I give thee speech. Heed my call. She's making the flames alive. Wait. This is Prometheus, isn't it? Or is this what inspires Prometheus? A face appeared in the fire. What? That's like some demon. I named thee Pandora. Oh, so it isn't Prometheus. Hurry, give Lin Lin the Simla. Okay, she's eating it. Be still. Okay, and Pandora's doing its work. And all the... That's... Uh, that might be my thumbnail right there. <laughs> Mother's... Pawn. Yes, Mother. It looks like a little Prometheus, so it is the exactly the same ability. It's just Big Mom would learn it later, I guess. Does she eat? Is the cannibal thing a, a thing? Or is it just by random chance that uh, Caram or Carmel's power inherits into a nearby fruit and the little glutton Big Mom <laughs> he finds it and eats it, not knowing a thing? The sun god has made all right. Judge her. She is no child. Lord Yor Yorley, treat his wounds. Lord Mountbeard. Oh, Mountbeard's going to take her out. He's crying over his fallen comrade. Lin Lin. And now she's fallen asleep. Please, mercy. Uh-oh. Carmel's gotten in the way. Could this be it? You dare to stop me, Carmel? Yorley is a co is a battle comrade, and I fought alongside for four, 300 years. Ugh. Okay, so they were 300 and... or 100 and... They were in their 140s when they first started fighting with each other, or alongside each other. Ugh. I can't say words this morning. At his age, he is beyond saving. Warriors care not how long they live, but how they die. I cannot forgive this child. All because he, was, he died in such a shameless manner. I understand, but if you cannot forgive her, Lin Lin is like the other poor children in the Lamb's house, abandoned by the world, with nowhere to go. I can't just leave her to die. I will take this girl and leave this country. Oh. Well, if that's the case, then that's another instance where it could still happen where she just dies normally. I mean, she is 80 years old. Carmel. Lord Mountbeard. Kill Lin Lin. Oh. Harudin. <laughs> uh, he wants her dead. How far has the pride of Elbath fallen? Harudin? Oh, it's hard. I, what was it? Hydra. Yeah. Hard. Ah, 
then be quick about it, disappear from my sight. The hero of the giants, Yorli, had died. The existence of Demon Linlin Lin and Carmel's miracle, the events of that day, spread as if on wings through even the few scattered kingdoms of giants across the world. Oh, there's more than one giant kingdom. Ooh. Huh? What happened? Lord Fallbeard died? Okay, so she has no idea. They didn't tell her anything. So there starts another issue of her upbringing. Okay. As they were unwilling to leave Mother's side, she took the children of Lamb's house in tow. And with Charlotte Linlin, who had earned the full ire of the giant race in tow. Well, they're using in tow a lot this chapter. Mother Carmel left Elbath behind. A new life at a new lamb's house began. I see they kept the architecture. Is this okay? Yes, that's plenty. To be honest, we'd rather not look at Lin Lin's face, but you are the mother to the giant race too, Carmel. You can always rely on us. Thank you. Oh, so some of the giants actually did come and help. <clears throat> I guess that's probably who's actually manning the boat that they rode on uh, to brighten the clouds of worry and to darken the hearts of the children. Or that dark... I was like, what? <laughs> uh, uh, Carmel's smile never once faltered. And after but a few days, everything had returned to normal. Wait, wait. Yeah, Linlin's gonna kill us. Yeah, that's definitely back to normal. Uh, the sounds of the children's laughter echoed throughout the Lamb's house. The Lamb's house is known thus. Any and all problem children would be reborn under the mother's miraculous power. Eventually, they would meet nice foster parents. I've never thought you'd le or leave Elbath. I was prepared to do even that to prevent that child from getting away. Wait, what's going on? Why is the world government there? <laughs> Think about it, at the age of five she managed to half destroy the village of Elbath. She's irreplaceable. But this price, don't tell me you can't pay it. Oh, she still has Pandora with her, but the... In terms of marine ranks, this one's cut out to be an admiral or even fleet admiral. All you CP types care about is per oh, that's CP whatever number they're supposed to be. All you CT or the <laughs> CP types care about is providing enough protection to the Tinru Beto, right? And let me tell you, as a child slaver for fifty years. This is my... wait, what the... F what? This is my greatest product yet. Uh, Carmel? Uh, the fuck with you, uh, child deliver? Uh, I, I don't like you anymore. <laughs> I'm liking your parenting style, but damn, if you're a slaver. 37 years ago, I pulled a fast one on the Marines and slipped into Elbath. Indeed, the reason the first giant marine soldier, John Giant, is because of my connections. I've been decei deceiving these kids in the Lamb's House year after year, and once every two years I sell one orphan to the government. These kids are perfect for spies. No one can track down where, orf where orphans are from. Fine, fine, I get it. I'll get the money together somehow. So she's gonna sell off Big Mom. She only sells off the Giants. Of course you will. It isn't easy playing that mother act, you know. Oh my god, I wonder if Oda watched Sister Act, but then took an evil turn with it. I think I should start, um, winding my activities down. Time to wash my hands of this business. This is my last deal. Woof woof woof. What a song, or what song shall we sing today? Bink Saki. Well, that's a pirate song, silly. Yep, and we'll be pirates one day, too. 
Nope, I'll just sell you off, every last one of you, to the government. <laughs> oh, is that so? How cool. Okay. So they all want to become pirates? That's interesting. Okay, still playing, having fun. All the while, Big Mom schemes. Or not Big Mom, I'm so used to saying Big Mom. Mother Carmel. Oh, Lin Lin's sixth birthday. And that's the day she gets sold off on her birthday. That, that's... And happy birthday. Congratulations, Lin Lin. Yep, sixth birthday. Good lord. It, it's just like a bunch of little cakes. Or is that Simla? I think that is a bunch of Simla that they just stack together into a cake. Well, thank you, everybody. We piled up a bunch of your favorite Simla to make this. It's called... A croquembouche. And now we know why she loves it so much. I wonder if it turned out alright. Let's have a tea party. A tea party? My god, this chapter's setting up even more of what she does. You call it a croquembouche? It looks so yummy. Eat as much as you want. Yep. Eat, eat. One day, Mother Carmel vanished into thin air. That was on the day of the... And then, well, that's the narration. Let's make some tea. She sure can eat. Yummy. Well, I'm so happy. It's so good. Eat as much as you want, Lin Lin. It's not even as big as her, technically. And she has gotten bigger. And it's only been, what, a couple months? Funnest birthday of Lin Lin's life. Her friends from the Lamb House who had grown up to like her, and the kind and generous mother. She was surrounded by everyone's smiles, and as she ate her beloved sweet birthday cake, that should be cake, not care, <laughs> uh, Lin Lin couldn't help but cry. What a wonderful day this was. She could barely see through the tears. Yummy! What a wonderful birthday today was. Uh, I was so focused on eating that I chomped down on the table a few times. Burp. Thanks, everybody. I'll never, or I'll never ever forget today. Huh? Everyone? Mother? One day, Mother Carmel. Where'd they go? Vanished into thin air. Wait. Is the reason why all the kids are gone is because she sold them? And God, that table is wrecked. <laughs> huh? Huh? Where are they? Everyone? In the house? Don't leave me. Where are you? Aw, that's kind of sad. Hey, Mother. Where'd you suddenly disappear? Oh, and now we're phasing back. The flashback is over. Where'd you go, Mother? Her roar is louder than expected. The assassination plot continues. Okay, so my... My theories on it were kind of disproven. Okay, all my theories were disproven. Well, except for why Carmel left. That could, that's kind of proven. I don't know, I have to re-look at my theory. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, yeah. Okay, that was interesting. I'll give this one a four because, you know, it kind of played out like you might have thought, but that whole reveal of the sister act, that was unexpected. Anyway, I, I liked it. I'll give it a four. But uh, thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Keyshlings, roll out.